here with Sonia Barr, this week's Beaver Pride Athlete of the Week. Sonia, how does it feel to be Beaver Pride Athlete of the Week? Uh, it was a shock when I heard the news, but it feels good to know that I did my job this weekend, and it's nice to have the award. I wasn't expecting it, but that was nice to hear. Okay, now this weekend you guys were, were one and one. Um, obviously, you you were involved in some pretty tight games, um, winning in overtime and then uh, losing one to nothing. So maybe just talk a little bit about this weekend's games. Uh, well, Upper Iowa was a challenge. They're, they were a good team. They were very good in the midfield. So, like, the whole 90 minutes of the game, we kind of struggled to get that goal. But once we had our opportunity, we – capitalized on that and it was awesome Kirsten's goal was really surprising I jumped up screaming because I knew that the game was over and we could start preparing for Winona and then Winona another good team uh, was a challenge um, got unlucky there but I think maybe if we get another shot at them we have a good chance of maybe coming with a draw or a win. Depends on how we play. As a goaltender, obviously something that you go out to do every every time out is to win the team or win the game for your team. And one of the ways you can do that is obviously shutting the other team out. And you guys have had a pretty good streak of shutouts going. How was it to step into to a role like that that Abby had kind of <laughs> set up for you? Uh, well, it was nerve wracking for one. I was anxious and nervous at the same time. I was also really ecstatic that I had the opportunity to take Abby's footsteps and hopefully continue them. Uh, I was kind of upset about the goal, but I mean, Abby was really supportive. And I think knowing that she was there on the sidelines cheering for me helped me get a lot of, long way. As a goalie, how much of your success depends on the team in front of you? A lot of my coaches have told me, you know, the ball has to get through 10 people to get to you. And I think somewhat that's true, but everyone has a role to play. And uh, I trust 10 people in front of me that they're going to do their job. And I will do my job to, to help them. Well, great. Congratulations again and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Here with Brody Chef, the male Beaver Pride Athlete of the Week. Uh, Brody, you guys suffered a tough loss to Duluth last weekend, uh, but for you personally, you had 19 tackles, a career high, also the most by a defensive player in the NSIC this season so far. Um, what was it about uh, that game that just you were in, uh, in that many plays and made that many tackles? Well, I think the guys up front did a good job too, um, flying to the ball and stuff. and. You know, when, when the front guys are making them, you know, bounce, you know, to the outside and they're, they're holding them up and stuff. And then it, it's nice for safety to come in, you know, fast and just, uh, you know, get your hits. Uh, you also recorded your first career sack. Uh, do you remember that play? And did you realize that was your first career sack in the green and white? Um, I realized it a little bit later that it was, but uh, um, I guess it was just a, it was just a safety blitz off the, uh, off the split side. So... Um, it was, it was really nice. It was, it was exciting. It was definitely uh, um, my first sack of my career, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys were on the field a lot against Duluth, um, just with time possession and stuff. How does that wear on a defense? I mean, you guys were able to, uh, once Duluth got in the red zone, you're, I mean, you're holding them to field goals and that kind of stuff, but what does that do to a defense when you have to spend that much time on the field? Uh, it, just, it gets us exhausted and uh, tears us down a little bit. I mean, it was, it was really good that we only held them to field goals in the first half. But um, it, more importantly, it keeps our offense off the field, and that's not what we want. We want our offense on there, you know, scoring up points and stuff like that. Uh, was the first loss of the season, you guys are three and one. Now you uh, head down the road to Upper Iowa. Uh, what are your expectations for this weekend? Uh, same as every week, I suppose. It's just you know, get a win, and uh, you know, Upper Iowa um, has been known to put up points, and they've moved the ball successfully against Duluth a couple weeks ago. So um, just you know, refocus and, and try to pitch a shutout.